Welcome back to my channel. Today we're solving radical equations, hard addition. Go check out my radical equations, easy, if you have trouble solving them or don't know how to. So here we have an equation, the square root of 30 minus x equals x. How do we solve this? Same basic topic. So we're going to square both sides of the equation giving us 30 minus x equals x squared. Now, we're get, we are going to rearrange the equation so that one side equals zero and one side has all the terms. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna make this entire equation zero, so I'm gonna move the negative x to the right-hand side. It becomes positive x, so we have x squared plus x, and then if the 30 goes to the next side, it becomes negative 30 equals zero. Now we need to factor this. So that becomes x plus six times x minus five is equal to zero. Now let's set each equal to zero. So we will get x is equal to negative 6 and x equals to 5. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a negative number. We cannot, the square root of a number can never be negative. If you have the square root of 36, it can never be negative 6. It can never be a negative number. So we know what that means. That means that negative 6 is not one of our solutions. So our only solution is five. But let's test it and make sure. Set the square root of 30 minus five equals five. Is that true? The square root of 25 is five. So five is our only solution in this equation. So that's how you solve a hard radical equation. Say you have x equals the square root of 8x. So we're still squaring both sides, giving us x squared is equal to 8x. Now let's rearrange the terms so that one side equals zero. So we're going to have x squared minus 8x equals zero. Now we see a greatest common factor. So we're going to factor, the greatest common factor is x. So we're going to have x times x, because x times x is x squared, minus eight is equal to zero. Because if you multiply x times x is x squared and negative eight times x is negative eight x. Now we can set each equal to zero. So you get x equals zero and x equals eight. Look at that, two solutions. Let's plug them and see if they make sense or not. Say zero equals the square root of zero. Yes, it does. And does eight equal the square root of 64? Yes, it does. So we have two solutions in number two. So our two solutions are zero and x equals eight. All right, say we have one like this. Say we have the square root of four n plus eight equals n plus three. So we're going to square both sides, same thing. So we have 4n plus 8 equals, we're going to square the entire binomial. So it's n plus 3 squared. What is n plus 3 squared? We're going to multiply that all out.
So we have n squared plus 3n So we have n squared plus 6n plus 9. That is n plus 3 squared. So you have 4n plus 8 equals n squared plus 6n plus 9. Look at that. A lot of terms. We still got to rearrange our equation. So I'm actually going to start by subtracting 4n and subtracting 9 at the same time. So that will give us n squared minus 2 n squared plus 2 n minus plus sorry plus 1 is equal to 0. n squared plus 2 n plus 1 is equal to 0. So what two numbers multiply to 1 but add the 2? They are 1 and 1. So we have n plus 1 times, sorry, so we're going to, n, so n plus 1 Look at that. n plus 1 times n plus 1 equals 0. Let's, so we get n equals negative 1. Now let's plug and see if it actually makes sense, if it's actually negative 1. So we're going to have negative 4 plus 8, which is 4. So does the square root of 4 equal 2? Yes, it does. And that is our solution. Negative 1 is our solution in this equation. All right. Say we have... Um, say we have x minus 5 equals the square root of x plus 1. So we're going to square both sides, giving us x minus 5 equals x, x minus, sorry, x minus 5 squared equals x plus 1. Now we're going to multiply x plus 5 times x plus 5, x minus 5 times, sorry. Give us x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals x plus 1. All right, so now let's subtract x from both sides and Subtract 1 from both sides. Sorry, x squared minus 11. is equal to zero. So now let's solve this. Two numbers that multiply to give us 24 
but add to give us negative 11. Hmm, let's think about this. What are two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to negative 21? All right, so let's see. You have 12 and two, but that does not work. We have eight and three, yes, but not eight and three, negative eight and negative three. So it's x minus eight times x minus three equals zero. So you get x equals eight and x equals three. Let's double check. So three for eight, we got three equals the square root of nine. That is correct. And negative two equals square root of four. Nope. We cannot, the square root of number can never be negative. So we cannot have three. We have to have only eight. So only eight is our solution. Let's go over this last problem with you guys. And for this last problem, we have seven a, the square root of seven a minus 54 minus a is equal to negative six. We're gonna start by not squaring both sides first, we're gonna add a to both sides, which will give us a minus six. Now, let's square both sides. It's equal Let's do a minus six squared and multiply it all out. That gives us a squared minus 12a minus plus 36. After doing squaring both sides, we get 7a minus 54 equals a squared minus 12a plus 36. Let's rearrange all our terms. Subtract 7a from both sides and add 54 to both sides. So we get a squared minus 19a plus a hundred equals zero. Hmm. Now let's figure out two numbers that multiply to a hundred and give add negative nineteen. Well, let's check that. Hmm. So for numbers, we have 20 and five. That is not subtract negative 24. So we're all the factors of 100. So 25, 25 and four. Hmm, let's think about it. Nope. That does not give us, so you have 20 and five. Plus 90, sorry, 90. Plus 90, not 100. Now, do we have any numbers? 10 and 9. So A minus negative, so A minus 10 
times a minus 9 is equal to 0. To get a equals 10 and a equals 9. Let's see. Let's check. So, does the square root for 10, does the square root of 70 minus 54 minus 10 equal negative 6? Do they equal negative 6? All right, let's check. So, the square root of 16 is 4. 4 minus 10 is not, it is negative 6. Yes. So 10 is a solution. Now let's check 9. So you will have 7 times 9 is 63. The square root of 63 minus 54 minus 9 equal negative 6. All right. Let's see that. Well, we get 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Yay, we do have two solutions. And they are 10 and 9. Thanks for watching. That's how you solve radical equations hard edition. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you and bye.